care cut. You are everything to me. My best friend, love of my life, and my rock. Can't believe how much we grow together. God forbid, too high school kids for that. Too nervous and awkward to hold hands during a school play. To be two people ready to commit to each other forever in front of all their family and friends. We navigated our way through college and graduate school together. We made it through a worldwide shutdown together. We bought a house and made it our home while raising our Joseph dog and juggling all of life's ups and downs together. All of the big and little things we've experienced together have helped our love grow so much deeper. And <laughs> we've been through so much over these past 10 years. I have no doubt that I've fallen in love with you more every single one of these past 3,614 minutes. I love how special you make me feel. I love how you always try to put me up when I feel down or not like that self. I love how you fall asleep on the couch no matter how much time you may need to stay up late. I love how you <laughs> how you laugh when I finally tell a funny joke. I love how you take time to ask about my feelings and push me to talk more about my emotions, even if I might not want to. I love how you show interesting things that I enjoy, even to the point that you learn how to snowboard to make it something that we need to be I love how you're my teammate in life and how we always work together in small things from chores to the bigger things like planning ski trips and vacations to even bigger things like planning a whole big wedding in less than a year. <laughs> you are the best part of my day and I'm truly blessed to be able to start and end every day by seeing your perfect face. All that being said, Erica, I vow to love you no matter what through all of life's ups and downs. I vow to continue to love you more every passing day. I vow to always listen when you need something to talk to. I vow to be there to pick you up when life gets tough and knocks you down. I vow to let little things go, not dwell on things that don't matter. I vow to continue striving to be a better man every day to be deserving of someone as wonderful as you. I vow to try my best to make you laugh when you're feeling happy, especially when you're feeling sad. Which leads me to a few silly but important ones. I vow to go hiking with you, even if I'd rather be on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta be the big spoon on those nights when you're cold and you need the extra warm. <laughs> I vow to try my best to clean up my contact lens case and up the back of the counter and shut my dresser drawers all the way when I'm done with them. Um, I vow to say yes to making the pot for you when I really don't feel like it. <laughs> but most importantly, I vow to love you with every fiber of my being and the rest of my life. Erica, I can't believe we get to spend forever together. So excited for our future, but for me, that I love so much. Ryan, my favorite person, my high school sweetheart, my soulmate, and soon to be my husband. Yes, I will marry you. Now you can't tell people I never said yes. <laughs> I love you more than I know how to put into words, and it's hard to describe the pure joy and excitement I feel to begin the rest of our lives together as husband and wife. Committing to spend my life with you today is the easiest decision I've ever made. From the first time that we talked as shy, awkward, 17-year-olds leading a group of kids through safety for a high school visitation, I knew you were someone I wanted in my life. I'm so glad I didn't scare you away in those early days with my big pink prom dress, or when I told my teammates at Chipotle that we weren't on a date. And I'm so happy that you made the move and asked me out that night behind the gym. Even though we both sat through the whole play with our hands fixed up waiting for the other person to reach for the handle first. Our beginning is such a sweet story and as young as we were at the time, it didn't take long for me to realize we had the potential to last forever. We've truly grown up together. Somehow those awkward high school kids became doctors with a house and a dog. We stood by each other through some of our proudest moments and through some of the most challenging and difficult situations imaginable. But through the highest highs and lowest lows of the last 10 years, it's always been you and me. Thank you for sticking with me even in moments where I wasn't my best. And thank you for challenging me to be better. You're everything to me. You know the depths of my heart and soul better than anyone, and I'll never stop wanting to know you better and love you more. Ryan, there's so many things that I love about you. You have the best sense of humor, and you can force a laugh out of me even when I don't feel like laughing. I love your laugh and your smile, and your genuine happy energy is contagious. You're loyal, and I trust you endlessly. I so appreciate you've never given me a reason not to. In all of my moods and emotions, you balance me with an even temper and a calm presence. You've always made me feel enough as I am. 
and have never made me feel that I need to change anything about myself to be worthy of your love. You always make me feel so loved, not only by telling me you love me so many times throughout the day, but you show me with small gestures like head scratches and foot rubs and kisses on the forehead and bringing me my favorite treats just for no reason and helping me with tasks I sometimes don't have the energy to do. I love your heart and the way that you're a source of strength for people you love, even when things are difficult for you too. I'm so eager to step forward into this next chapter of holding your hand as your wife, and I can't wait to see and explore more of the world with you. Try new foods, swim new oceans, and hike new views, and shred new mountains. I'm so excited to raise a family with you in the future and bring more of you into the world. I pray that we have a long, happy life together and that our growth never stops, both as individuals and as partners. As much as I love you today, I know that as we build this life together, I'll only grow to know and love you more deeply. I know God made you for me not to complete me, but to make the best in me shine brighter. And I know that together we'll build a life better than either of us could dream of alone. As we start this new chapter with the same last name, these are my vows to you. I promise to keep lightly salted legs around for you, even though they smell bad. I promise to laugh at your jokes as long as they're funny. And I promise to never let you forget that your sense of humor is one of my favorite things about you and that laughter will make a pillar of our home and our partnership. I promise to work together with you as equals to build a life we both can be proud of. I promise to support your dreams and help you make them come true. I promise to always be honest, loyal, and faithful. I promise to challenge you to push yourself and reach your highest potential. I promise to encourage you to experience, process, and communicate your emotions so that we can continue to explore and know each other better every day. I promise to listen to you. I promise to admit when I'm wrong. I promise to be there in hard times and that my arms will always be open to embrace you in both times of celebration and of hardship. I promise that whatever life throws at us, I'll stand by you and we'll get through it together. I promise to always feel important, valued, cherished, and enough. You're everything to me and I promise never to let you forget that. I promise you endless love and devotion. You have my heart then and now forever and always. I promise that every day of my life, I'll more than love you. Oh. I can't wait to see that. <laughs>
all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up in its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is the bone of my bones and the flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one had been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. The word of the Lord. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, strive eagerly for the greatest spiritual gift. But I shall show you a still more excellent way. If I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, I am a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and comprehend all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have all faith so as to move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give away everything I own, and if I hand my body over so that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient, love is kind, it is not jealous, it is not pompous, it is not inflated, it is not rude, it does not seek its own interest, it is not quick-tempered, it does not brood over injury, it does not rejoice over wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said, From the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore what God has joined together, no human being must separate. The Gospel of the Lord. November 16th, 2012. is a very special day for Erica and Ryan. It was the day they became Facebook official. This was a sign to friends and family that something new had begun, and to would-be suitors that they were now officially off limits. Now almost 10 years later, they come and they are prepared to make things official before God. We say that marriage is a sacrament meaning that it is a visible sign of an invisible reality. And that reality is the deep love that God has for each of us. When asked what they love about the other, Ryan said that he loves how Erica helps him keep focus on what matters, how she shows that she cares for him each day, and that he appreciates her witty banter. Erica loves Ryan's sense of humor, his smile and welcoming presence that helps her stay grounded in what's important, and his good hugs sometimes. That was in parentheses, so. When asked why they had decided to enter into marriage, they gave a very good answer. Indeed, the reason for marriage itself to get each other to heaven. In a world that focuses on feelings of love, marriage is an invitation to a daily choice to love as God does, a self-sacrificial love. Now in preparation, uh, I joked with Eric and Ryan that a former pastor of mine used to love giving out stuffed frogs. 
And the image that he was referring to was, you know, many of us know the fairy tale where uh, you, you, you kiss the frog and it turns into a prince or maybe a princess uh, in Ryan's case. But in, in the story, he says, you know, sometimes you kiss the frog and it's still a frog. Well, there are no stuffed frogs under your chair, so you're safe. No, instead, I offer you the greatest sign of self-sacrificial love that will ever exist, the cross. You have found your cross, the vocation of marriage. And it is a cross to be carried, a cross not to be thrown away, but to be cherished. Most importantly, it is a reminder that in seeking the sacrament of marriage, you will not carry this burden on your own, but that every time you see the cross, you must ask Christ to help you love your spouse in the same way that Christ first loved you, offering everything he had so that you might have heaven. Dear beloved, you have come together into the house of the church so that in the presence of the church's minister and the community, your intention to enter into marriage may be strengthened by the Lord with a sacred seal. Christ abundantly blesses the love that binds you. Through a special sacrament, he enriches and strengthens those he has already consecrated by holy baptism, that they may be faithful to each other for life and assume all the responsibilities of married life. And so, in the presence of the Church, I ask you to state your intentions. Erica and Ryan, have you come here to enter into marriage without coercion, freely and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? Are you prepared to accept children lovingly from God and to bring them up according to the law of Christ and his church? Amen. Since it is your intention to enter the covenant of holy matrimony, join your right hands and declare your consent before God and his church. I, Ryan, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I, Ryan, take you, Erica, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. Good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to honor you. To love and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. I, Erica, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I, Erica, take you, Ryan, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. Sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you. To love you and to honor you. All the days of my life. All the days of my life. May the Lord, in his kindness, strengthen the consent you have declared before the church and graciously bring to fulfillment his blessing within you. What God joins together, let no one quit the sunder. Bless and sanctify your servants in their love, O Lord, and let these rings, a sign of their faithfulness, remind them of their love for one another, through Christ our Lord. Receive this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit.
<laughs> Ryan, receive this ring. Ryan, receive this ring. As a sign of our love and fidelity. As a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us accompany this new family with our prayers, that the mutual love of this couple may grow daily, and that God in his kindness will sustain all families throughout the world. For this bride and groom and for their well-being as a family, let us pray to the Lord. And that response will be, Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For their relatives and friends and for all who have assisted this couple, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For young people preparing to enter marriage, and for all whom the Lord is calling to another state in life, let us pray to the Lord. For all families throughout the world and for lasting peace among all people, let us pray to the Lord. For all members of our families who have passed from this world and for all the departed, let us pray to the Lord. For the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. For the church, the holy people of God, and for unity among all Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Jesus, who are present in our midst, as Erica and Ryan seal their union, accept our prayer and fill us with your spirit, who live and reign forever and ever. God the Father wills that his children be of one heart and charity. Let those who are Christian call upon him in the prayer of God's family, which our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now let us humbly invoke God's blessing upon this bride and groom, that in his kindness he may favor with his help those on whom he has bestowed the sacrament of matrimony. O God, who by your mighty power created all things out of nothing, and when you had set in place the beginnings of the universe, formed man and woman in your own image, making the woman an inseparable helpmate to the man, that they might no longer be two but one flesh, and taught that what you are pleased to make one must never be divided. O God, who consecrated the bond of marriage by so great a mystery, that in the wedding covenant you foreshadowed the sacrament of Christ and his church. O God, by whom woman has joined a man and the companionship they had in the beginning is endowed with the original blessing, not forfeited by original sin, nor washed away by the flood. Look now with favor on these, your servants joined together in marriage, who ask to be strengthened by your blessing. Send down on them the grace of the Holy Spirit and pour your love into their hearts, that they may remain faithful in the marriage covenant. May the grace of love and peace abide in your daughter, Erica. Let her always know the example of those holy women whose praises are sung in the scriptures. May her husband entrust his heart to her so that acknowledging her as his equal and his joint heir to the life of grace, he may show her due honor and cherish her always with the love that Christ has for his church. And now, Lord, we implore you, may these your servants hold fast to the faith and keep your commandments. Made one in the flesh, may they be blameless in all they do. And with the strength that comes from the gospel, may they bear true witness to Christ before all. May they be blessed with children and prove themselves virtuous parents who live to see their children's children, and grant that, reaching at last together the fullness of years for which they hope, they may come to the life of the blessed in the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. At this time, uh, Ryan and Erica would like to bring uh, flowers 
uh, to our Blessed Mother, and we uh, will join uh, together in listening uh, to the words of the Hare Maria. bow your heads for the Lord's blessing. May Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now for the very first time, it is my great pleasure to introduce Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Erica Loney.